over the last two videos, I talked a lot about this fundamental force and a lot of crazy concepts that you may not have understood. So let's bring it down and narrow it down and talk about what you actually need to know and, 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 and for this topic. First, let's talk about in strength. The strongest is going to be the strong force, which means, remember also, it minimals out. Even at the maximum distances, it will still be at the minimal. A little weaker, you're going to have electromagnetism. And sometimes electromagnetism actually beats the strong force, at least the residual strong force. Remember that. If there's too many protons in the atom, the repulsion force that exists between the positive charges of these protons will be stronger than the residual strong force and actually cause the atom to fall apart and radioactive decay. We'll talk about that in a future lecture series. So whenever the electromagnetic force of the nucleus a repulsion is stronger than the residual strong force, you're going to have uh, the actually falling apart of the nucleus. But remember, the fundamental strong force, not the residual one that holds the nucleus together, the fundamental that holds quarks together is the strongest force in nature. Then the electromagnetic force is going to be a second place, and then you're going to have maybe the residual strong force in a small third place. Then you're going to have the weak force as the third strongest force, and then you're going to have gravity as the weakest of all the forces. Now in terms of influence, the strong force the residual strong force will only act over extremely small distances. But even smaller would be the weak force. The weak force only acts over extremely, extremely low, uh, small distances. Then you have the uh, residual strong force, second place, electromagnetism in third place, and gravity is going to be the one that acts over the biggest distances at all, of all. All right, so make sure you be able to rate the strength of all these forces and also the distance upon which of them acts. Also remember, the electromagnetic forces have things to do with like magnets and currents and light and things like that. And it's what holds atoms together, what holds chemical compounds together, electronics, fiber optics, all of these things have to do with electromagnetism. Weak forces have to do with radioactive decay, has to do with atom atomic instability and things like that. Uh, uh, strong force, there's two types. The residual force holds the nucleus of the atom together, and then the, the fundamental strong force holds quarks together to form protons and neutrons. And the gravitational force is what holds together the universe, things like the solar system, galaxies, the planets, the stars, and things like that. And remember that each one of these forces is mediated by a fundamental particle. Gravity is theoretically held by the graviton, and we don't really haven't found this particle yet, but it's theoretical. The weak force is held together, it's created by the W and Z bosons, which are the only ones that have mass on the fundamental bosons. The electromagnetic force is, is, is carried by the photons as a particle, and the uh, fundamental strong force is, is created by eight different gluons, which give a property of matter we call color charge, and we talk more about that in the quantum physics art. And by putting different colors together, different color charges together, is how you actually put the... Um, protons and neutrons together. If you're interested in this stuff, watch the quantum, lecture, video, quantum physics lecture series where I talk about this in more detail. And you also have the residual strong force, which is mediated through mesons, which are two quarks put together, and exchanging these mesons, protons and neutrons are actually held together. Now, the more important thing about all of this is knowing the roles of these forces, the strengths of the forces, and the distance upon which they act. If you know the fundamental particles which cause them, that's kind of like a bonus. But I will ask you about the role of these forces, the strength of each of the forces, and the distance upon they act. You have to be able to rank that, and you have to be able to tell the, the role of each one of these forces. So review that, look at these crazy concepts, and see if you make sense out of it. And if you have any questions, make sure to ask. All right? So I'll see you in the next video.